My name is Alex, and I was born ready. <laughs>
Seven, maybe? Honestly, I'd probably give him a one. Usually being the funny guy in the room. I suppose in the process, I make myself laugh. So it seems like they're being funny. But, you know, if you take me out of the equation, it's probably a one. I would say a three. Two. Being funny is not that important. Having a sense of humor is important. So I'll give it a solid three, but it's not a bad thing. But it's not a bad thing. They should know how to laugh at dumb jokes that guys do. Honestly, I don't think any of them have made me laugh yet. Maybe a two, one and a half, I don't know. A solid 4.8. A zero. 10, 10, 20, 20. When they're trying to be funny, it's like one because they're not funny. When they're not trying to be funny, they're trying to be serious. That's when they're really funny, especially Diana. I'm not gonna answer that question. I don't know. They don't like bossing around. Don't offend them. They're very fragile. They're very weak. They are the weaker gender and they need strong, independent males to take care of them. Uh, without them, we would not be the same guys we are now. They can take a word very easily. They'll take it to their hearts or something. Um, don't argue with them. They are not guys. Don't try to change them, respect them. Uh, they don't know what they want. They're not guys. Uh, they run on emotions, all of them. They, that's what they're fueled with. They overthink a lot of things. Double, triple, quadruple check on what you say, because if you realize too late that you said the wrong thing, it's really hard to apologize. Oh, their idea might be kind of boring. A picnic at a beach. Calm restaurant. Guess I'll take her to the Sun River. <laughs> coffee shop or like a restaurant, I don't know, just a good environment. It really depends on uh, on the girl. It doesn't really matter what you do, is uh, who you're with. Pineapple, pizza. Going on a sunset with your guitar and your little puffy running along beside you and they're just all happy and everything and you start singing over the rainbow. A guitar is in there somewhere, the beach in the distance, some seagulls, you know, like a picnic basket, campfire, or like some uh, torches lit up, you know? Out in the field, over the horizon, like the coast, you just laid back there, eating some nice takeout, and then after that you go do car stuff. I think car stuff is the best date. Their idea may be like Macy's or Nordstrom or Lancaster Mall, probably, or Ross Dress for Less whatever the guy creates. Everything's planned out. It's very romantic. Sunset or something like the beach. Sunset flight to a remote island to grab a coffee and donuts. Um, stay fair, eat ice cream, go on roller coaster. Riding in a, in a white Toyota Camry. You're cruising down in the freeway. Listen to some jazz. You're like, you like some jazz? And she's like, yes I do. Hold it on that <laughs> automatic shifter. With, with your hands together, holding each other. Next thing you know, there's a big pool of water. You hide your plane and you're holding on. You pull the e-brake, you slam on the brakes. You're, you're spinning, <laughs> you're, you're spinning in the wet rain. You're holding hands, looking at each other. You're like jazz. You crash the car. The smooth jazz playing in the background. This is nice, like, has to be. Like, nothing could beat this, like, just nothing.